Integrated Pest Management, uh, IPM for short, is something I've been involved in for the whole of my professional career. In fact, I think I was probably the first person to create an integrated pest management system. That was when I was working in Borneo in the early 1960s. I was able to use a pesticide but use it in such a way that it didn't cause uh, any disruption of the rest of the natural enemy control. And that's the essence of integrated pest management, that you use the biological control that's present or that can be encouraged. That means you use natural parasites, natural predators to control the pests. And if those don't work or if they have a limited effect, you may want to use a pesticide as well, um, a conventional pesticide, industrial pesticide, uh, but you use it in a very precise, very sophisticated manner. I think one of the uh, big challenges now is to use integrated pest management along with uh, advanced plant breeding technologies. Uh, one example in Africa is control of Striga, where there is now a new variety of maize, uh, it's derived from uh, a mutation, which is uh, resistant to a herbicide. And this herbicide kills the weed called Striga. The weed called Striga is a terrible pest of of maize in Africa, caused billions of dollars of damage. And what you can do is to dip the seed of the maize in the herbicide, you coat it, the, the seed with the herbicide. The seed takes up the herbicide, and as the plant grows, the herbicide kills off the striga all around. But what you're doing is using the herbicide in a very, very precise way. You're not contaminating the environment because only very small amounts of herbicide are being used. So that is really a very modern form of integrated pest management. And I think eventually when we have uh, more uh, genetically modified crops, which are uh, resistant to pests and diseases, we will need to see how we can fit those genetically modified crops into integrated pest management programs.